guys, it's Rush KJ back with another video for you. Today we're taking a look at the Asus B85 Vanguard motherboards. This is part of their tough series of motherboards. You may have seen the Sabertooth and all the other ones they've done, um, which are part of the tough series. They've got a, a very military style theme to these, and this one is for 1150. Um, it is more of an emphasis with going with reliability uh, and stability uh, on this board. So let me get the box out of the way. And I can show you the board straight away. So, voila. To save time, I've taken it out of its box. So we're ready to show you really quickly and we can get into it, get into the nitty gritty. Um, so yeah, 1150 board. Um, it is 85 pounds. Uh, we found it for earlier on. And it is oh, so much, there's so much on this for 85 quid. Um, Micro ATX board this is, part of the Tough Series range. Um, it's kind of going to be working really well for a cheaper system if you're not you're going to use a K series processor um, because you can't get an overclock out of this but it's not going to be as extreme um, as your uh, you know the uh, the other chipsets that you could get like the Z87 um, chipset so we're going to give you a look around this one uh, so let's go from the top you've got your processor socket for your 50 chip um, two North Bridge, North Bridge coolers, heat sinks rather, coolers. Uh, eight pin power at the top left. These are uh, alloy chokes as well. You've also got 10K capacitors, Japanese capacitors on this at the bottom here. Uh, there's four CPU fan connections, two down at the bottom there, one there, one there. Uh, at the bottom, one to the right by the 24 pin power. And there's one up the top. That's right, you just I can't see it just by my finger there so you've got four and also there's an included tool that you get with uh, this board that you can change all the different uh, speeds of your fans and things from your desktop which is really cool there are two PCI free bra uh, brackets here self breach heatsink as well uh, right down the bottom we've got expansion for another six USB 2.0 sockets ports uh, USB 3 on the right hand side uh, down on the corner we have got two six, uh, two USB uh, 3 gigabit per second ports and then there's uh, two right angled 6 gigabit and then there's also another two 6 gigabit they're facing upwards so let's take a look at the IO now so on this we have got the following uh, you've got a PS2 port on the left for your keyboard or mouse two USB 2.0 ports, full size display port, full size HDMI, DVG, you've got a VGA input there, DVI, four USB 3.0 ports, gigabit Ethernet, 5.1 surround sound audio. Um, and what else can we mention? We've got a few bits and bobs included with this. Let's get you back into focus. Um, so you get the Asus Quick Connects, which allows you to put all your front panel connections into one block and then plug them all in, in one go um, so you don't have to mess around with all the individual cables. You get two SATA cables, uh, one of which is right angled. This is pretty great. A uh, Tough Series sticker, you can just about see it, um, which you can put either on your case or on your wall or wherever you fancy. Uh, a Padded IO shield. This has got the Onward Force logo on it as well. There you go. Uh, you get some documentation to read at your leisure <laughs> on a weekend. Um, so you've got the five year warranty booklet, the user guide, the driver's disc. Yeah, don't use that, throw that away. Get the latest from the website. Uh, we have got this, which is all the information you could possibly ever need about what tests this board has been put through um, in order to pass the reliability test. So it's for capacitors, it's been put through thermal, moisture, resistance, salt spray, solvability, sort of bath, vibration, mechanical shock test. The chokes have gone through vibration, temperature cycling tests, uh, MOSFETs have gone through thermal shock, vibration, mechanical shock. But yeah, this is your certificate to prove that uh, your board is super stable and uh, worthy of um, being used <laughs> and uh, yeah it's basically going to mean you, you know whichever situation you put it in it's going to stay up to the job um, with its five-year warranty um, 
also another cool thing that you get with this board is it's got electrostatic protection discharge protection so when you take out your devices from the side um, in the in the way that the panel IO panel works it's going to mean that you've got four times more protection from any discharge going through uh, into your IC chips as well so it's super secure um, so you don't have to worry about any jolts that may go through this um, but yes that's pretty much it for the board. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little quick view of it and I will see you all in the next video.